What's up guys, I'm Matt. Today we'll be doing an unboxing video for Sword Art Online Box 1 North American Release. Take a nice look at the front cover here. We have a nice box art cover. It is a cardboard box with a lot of gold foils around the box. This is box set 1, limited edition Blu-ray of 4, as seen on Toonami. Here we have uh, two Blu-ray cases within the box along with a pamphlet you know, at the end. One of them contains all the Blu-rays, the other is the original soundtrack, as said here. On the back gives you nice details of uh, what's included. So bonus contents are the audio, audio commentaries by the creators, a special animation of Sword Art Offline, original web previews, trailer, first season Texas opening. Bonus materials is the soundtrack CD, the little booklet, Set up post set up of pin up illustration postcards, a collectible card, rigid box, uh, the box itself, and some of the cards inside. Now nah, let's just open up and see what's in it. Okay, for first uh, thought, I thought this piece of paper was part of the box, but it's just statically charged on there, so this peels right off. Or no, it looks like just some stickiness onto it. Yep. Let's just get that gunk off real quick. A closer look at the box, you can see that it's a nice matte finish since we don't see the annoying reflection of the uh, heat shrink was giving us. <clears throat> On the back here, we have the elucidator outline in gold foil. On the bottom we have the information, like all Blu-rays come with, 13 and up. Now let's see what comes inside. Inside the box you will be getting a little survey that Aniplex America gives you that you can fill out. A proof of purchase card, which I don't know if I should be showing or not, so I won't show that anyway. Oh, and I guess this is the trading card that they were talking about. And here we have a pair of Kirito and Asuna. Fade Zero. Here's that thick book, uh, thick uh, card or postcards that were including in the Japanese version as well. The booklet, along with Blu-ray, or no, that's the CD. This is the Blu-ray. Looking inside the Blu-ray cover, this art cover does look very familiar. I forget which box it was for Japanese ones, but they are double-sided. Pop it open, and they even kept the stadium styling as the Japanese release. Yep. Box one, disc one and two. Heard the episodes including in the back somewhere. Does not look like it. Put that down. Let's see what's inside the uh, CD. Oh, it looks like we have only the CD. That's the awesome soundtrack. Nice picture of Iron Crad. <coughs> Let's open up the little postcards we got here. Alright, let's see how many we get. We got one here with a high gloss finish. Two. Three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven. I believe all these are already in the uh, Japanese release boxes, but American release had to do something, so this is to compensate for the 
lack of uh, amount of boxes there are. So from I believe 12 boxes, it was dwindled down to four. Now with this specific release, it does come with English subtitles as well as English dub since it is being aired on Toonami. Uh, English dub for me, I guess it's all right. As yeah, some of you might be arguing. Uh, I just still prefer it in Japanese because that's what I heard it in first and I just don't want to change that. Now right, let's go back to the bottom of the box here. It's approximately 175 minutes so let's say each episode is roughly 22 minutes long. Divide that by 175. So around 8 episodes or so in, here, in the single box. And more info for those for you techies out there, this is an MP4 format. And uh, why is it only stereo? Hmm. Oh well, full 1080p. That's what matters. And with the next gen consoles out now, Blu-ray everywhere, so shouldn't be a problem playing these the Blu-rays and any kind of specific player. Not that I had any reason not to be able to play it in my house. But with that, I'll end the review here. Hope you guys like the unbox. Uh, I've kind of lost my voice now, but it should come back in later videos. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys thought. If you guys want a scan of the uh, postcards here, send me a message and I'll see if I can get back to you on that. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll see you guys later.